Welcome to the fourth edition of the World Locket TV magazine, your worldwide cross-country marathon skiing show. Let's meet Marcia Longa, manager, Gloria Trettle, who will introduce one of the main events in the cross-country marathon skiing world. Let's go to the Italian Dolomites. But first, a look back on the history of the Vassa Lopet. Created in 1922 in Sweden, this institution lasts 10 days and the main race gathers almost 16,000 contestants. Once upon a time, almost a hundred years ago, Today, the world's biggest ski race and a driving force for public health all year round. Then and now, the greatest reward is to pass through the finish line portal in Mura. Another historic Vasilopet year can now be summarized, 2017, with over 97,000 registered participants. Some come to compete, to make achievements and get great results, others only to participate and to experience the thrill and atmosphere of biking or running in a classic terrain in forefathers' tracks. And Vasilopet has become something for everyone, where young and old, men and women, people from all across the world stand side by side as one big community or participating based on their own terms and personal conditions. During the Winter Week 2017, there were participants from 63 nations across the world. Yes, the Vasalabad brand seems stronger than ever where tradition carries on. Here are images from Vasalabad in the 1920s, a different time, but with the same sense of mystery. breath of history can be felt through the ages with what began here 500 years ago when the Swedish king-to-be Gustav Eriksson Vasa made his flight here through deep forests, pine heaths over marshes and mountains. And then we have the ski heroes throughout history, those who have won not only the greatest of victories but also the people's hearts. Greatest of them all, Mula Nisa Karlsson, won nine Barcelona victories more than anyone else in history. His first win was in 1943. Many years have passed, but the memories live on. And the excitement at the finish line in Mura seems to have been just as great then as it is now. Vasalopet grew to become biggest in the world, and the start in Salen with around 15,000 people has always been an experience, whether you're participating yourself or following along on TV. And then come the classic checkpoints, small villages that, for a few weeks each year, become central points of all the good service and care that Vasalopet has become known for. 
Thousands of functionaries come together to make this possible, and of course they serve blueberry soup, part of the menu since 1958. Week 2017 consisted of 10 different races across varying distances, like Ungdomsvasa for the next generation of skiers. The main Vasa Leopard this year was decided after a very close and exciting final stretch in the men's class, where last year's winner, Norwegian Johan Christian Dahl, managed to defend his victory just ahead of his compatriot, Andreas Nygård. In the women's class, Birgitta Johansson Nuhlgren won a long awaited victory after coming in second place these past three years. Barcelona is, since 2008, a year-round event, a driving force and a goal for people's training and health. And the summer week in August is getting bigger and bigger, with great international interest. The summer week also has a variety of races, including Sykilvarsan, which has existed since 2009 and which is, today, the biggest Nordic mountain bike race, 94 kilometers long, between Salen and Mugla. Another growing trend is to run the whole or part of the distance in Ultravasan. Here are images from one of the magical starts at 5 a.m. in Baljabu, Salen. record time is held by Jonas Bud, who won the race in 2015 with a time of 5 hours, 45 minutes and 8 seconds. And finally, perhaps the most spectacular newcomer in the Vasalabat family, Nat Vasan. 90 kilometers on skis in the dark. The premier race in the winter of 2017 was a success, where skiers 2 and 2 were offered a magical experience. The first established night race in the world has become a reality. Barcelobit is always developing in both summer and winter, and just think, since the beginning Barcelobit has had over 1.4 million finishes where skiers, cyclists and runners have shared the same experience of coming up on that final stretch in Mura. New history is waiting to be written where everyone, regardless of whether you're an elite participant or a recreational athlete, can be a winner. Barcelona may soon be 100 years old, but it seems more healthy than ever. Marcia Longa is founder member of the World Opets, the international association that gathers together 20 cross-country races in the world. Marcia Longa is not only cross-country skiing, it's running, it's cycling, it's a moment of joy, it's a moment that uh, is open to babies, it's open to people who want to try the old styles with the old equipment in the Marcia Longa story. It's a moment for VIP, Marcia Longa is dedicated to all the events, side events, that all together organize that day, the last Sunday of January, every year since 1971.
Machalonga is the moment of the volunteers. 1,500 volunteers that are ready that day to share with us their Marchalonga. It's a moment that all the people from the two valleys, Fiem and Fassa, in the Trentino region, share. This is the end of the fourth edition of the World Loppet TV magazine. See you next month for a new episode.